Well, the journey is nearly at an end. It's the end of the season. It's the last game of the season in the Championship for my team, Preston North Bend. As we take on today's opponents, Sunderland, who are chasing the playoffs. They are sitting seventh, two points outside of it. Two points behind Millwall to be precise, as Millwall have got Blackburn. And in fifth place, you've got Coventry, who are three points above Sunderland with a goal difference... With a better goal difference of a two. So Sunderland have got a win today deep down to maintain their playoff push to get in the playoffs. <clears throat> so with PNA, we've got nothing to play for once more. It's a typical end of season. It's a typical last five games of the season where North End go on holidays. We blow the playoffs like we normally do every season. Because you know the old thing. <laughs> Only once have we ever gone on a run since we turned to the championship in 2015. But on this occasion, we're, we've not won in our last four games since we've bottled the playoffs. I think it would be a missed opportunity for North End as it's been absolutely anyone's this season. It's been a very open championship. But with North End, we're just playing for pride today. We'll see if we can get a repeat of last year when we broke Middlesbrough's hearts. Can we do the same to Sunderland? As Middlesbrough finished seventh as they had a chance last year, but we thrashed them 4-1. Hopefully, we can do a repeat of that. So with North End... I'm not really confident about our future, especially going into next season. We lose a lot of players this summer, especially on freebies and loans of returning to the club. So it's going, to be a, it's going to be a big, big, big rebuild job at North End. And if the rumours are to believe, it's not going to be a pretty sight at all this summer, especially if the rumours are true of the cuts in our playing budget, which is understandable. We're losing 15 million a year, so it's not sustainable. So we'll see what we can do today. I'd like to see a few of the younger lads. Just give it a few minutes. We've got nothing to lose and might as well just go for it. There's no pressure on North End. It's all on Sunderland. Just enjoy the occasion and have a pop at them. There's just have one last pop at Deep Down. But do have a great game of season ticket. No, not one bit. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Someone wanted it in bucket list for a long time and have finally done it. Will I return next season? I probably will, because I've been talking about it, and we probably will renew. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. I enjoy watching North End as they are my team. And we'll see how we get on next season. If we stay up in the Championship, I think it'll be a success next season like that. But with Preston, we just need to progress off the pitch. Something has to be done like that is it needs a bit more <coughs> progression. Because I don't blame Ryan Lowe for the situation that North End find themselves in. It's, it's a little bit out of his control. I know that... It could be better at times, especially our form at Deepdale this season has been below par, as that must change next season. But we'll see what we're dealing with, especially regarding budgets, as that is our biggest problem at North End. Do we have the finances to compete in the Championship without, in, without outside investment? As much as I love the Hemmings, keeping the club going, it's just not enough, as I would ask questions if I was the Hemmings, but that's a debate for another day, especially with the hierarchy of Preston North End. Is it run as best as well it could be? Do we need to be more efficient in the transfer market? I think there's ways and means where Preston could make it count. Just have a look at Luton. You've got Brighton, Brentford, all these teams that have overtook us in the years as they've shown the way how to do it, how to progress as a club. As Millwall, they'll want to look at as well, and Coventry. As all these teams have got... Few of these teams do have low budgets in North End, and they've got a playoff spot, so the one to look out for. We just need to be better at transfer market, especially when selling on players. That's been our biggest letdown over the last five years. That is our selling the players has been absolutely abysmal, especially selling them for profit, as it's a uh, hurt us in the long run. Uh, but good luck to Sunderland anyway. I hope you lose today from a pressing North End. Is a uh, I want North End to go out on a win, especially if we can break our hoodoo of being a team in the top 15. As we've not done that since Blackburn at Ewood on December the 10th, which is now near just, well, it's more than five months. It's just over five months, so it's been a very long time. So we'll see if we can actually beat a team in the top 15 in the championship. Let's go one more time at Deepdale. Let's bow out with a win. Come on, you Preston, and I will see you guys at Deepdale. But if you are new around here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Just GC Football for more football content, more PA content, and I will see you at Deepdale. Well, here is your Preston North End 11. So you've got Freddie Woolman, Fernandez, Lindsay, Dillard, McCann, Story, Parrot, Hughes, Ledson, Cannon, and Potts. So Dan Johnson apparently misses out for an injury in what could be his very last appearance, so he misses out. So I'm a little bit sad to see that. As on the bench, you've got Bauer, Slater, Mawaney, Onomar, Woodburn, Lee, and Cornell. As again, Whiteman missing out for an injury. 
like I said, it's going to be a very interesting summer. I'm a little bit sad to that we lose out on a potential chance to say goodbye to some good players, especially like Daniel Johnson. So there we are, the free training to turn off and squad. So let's see. So I will see you at Deepdale. <laughs> Let's do this one more time. So the pass is starting, to North End. Oh, I just can't get it in. So the pass is first 15 minutes. Preston North End's had some good chances to take the lead. So update from the Championship. 1-0 Millwall at Blackburn here. So that's first twist so far. First chance of the game. 1-1. One -on -one. I would say miss that. 40 minutes hit deep, I really should have hit the back of the net. So half time thoughts, it's very open game in bits, especially first 15 in the last five here, deep now. Both teams could easily have goals, both miss golden chance today, very open game. How would Dilap miss, I'll never know, and how the Sunderland won, which was a good save from Freddy Woman, but Dilap, he got ready to keep his leg only to go wide. So that is key here, deep now, so we'll see whether the second half brings any more chances, because there's a little bit being on off, it's got the rain coming down now in deep now. Because so Sunderland, I think they need a miracle of the minute to get a player, especially with news from Millwall and Coventry. Second half, let's go. Separate Freddy Woman here, calling Sunderland. Good goal, that one on Sunderland. One nil son, but what a cracking goal that was, right to the left hand corner, right to the top right corner. One to North End here. So that's why Sunderland are sinking here. There's six at the minute. Don't believe it, Fred L. Sunderland. Far too easy second half. They turned it up and that trenches from Mowbray. It's all at the den now with Coventry. Another too far too easy breakaway and kills it in. So Sunderland just been far too strong. 65 minutes in, just under here. Marino Sunderland, all over out the hands that all over to the den and now Middlesbrough versus Coventry. Especially from North End, absolutely spine the second half here from us. All the time in Sunderland here at the minute. It's Sunderland's day now. 4-3 Blackburn at the den. I just can hear the Sunderland fans in the background there. Got beat last day in season K, yeah. Sunderland fans in fine boys here, enjoying every second they are. And full credit to them. A minute in season to go before stoppage time. It can't come fucking up the end of the season. I've had enough here. I agree, Blackburn. Four minutes left in the end of the season. The only consolation here was Sunderland get making the playoffs here. It stopped Blackburn getting into it, so they've got another season with us. See you next season, Blackburn.
season end, 3 0 Sunderland. Congratulations to them. Hard and proud, they made the playoffs. Far too good for North End, especially that 10 minute period. Preston North End, pathetic end to the season. Let's see you where we left off. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Don't forget to like, subscribe to Judge Jesus Football for more football content like this. It brings an end to our Preston North End campaign. So we'll see you guys next week.